Hey everyone, my name's Lance Archer, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, it's Destiny Day, it's Zerda even. Um, today's a little special one because we are in the Vestian Outpost. Zer is in the Vestian Outpost with us today, so let's go quickly see what he's got. Alright, so he has... Legacy Engram for the books. The Glass House for the Titan. Intellect Discipline Roll. Maxing out 63, 61. Okay, so perks of this helmet is Blessings of Light and Weapons of Light last longer. So if you're a Defender Titan, this is perfect for you to use. Um, mainly used in raids. Don't really see many people using the Crucible anymore, but if you're one of those people who like to have everlasting bubbles and like to one-shot, body-shot people with Weapons of Light, this is a good one for you. Um, tier 12 roll on this one is 93%. So not bad, not bad. Good start for Zer this week. Next, Young Ahamkara Spines for the Hunter. Intellect Discipline roll, 56, 57, maxing out. Increased trip mine grenade duration. Gain an additional trip mine grenade, dura uh, grenade charge. Sorry. Um, so obviously if you're a hunter and you like throwing trip mines and placing them very well, this is good for you. Um, though most people don't really use trip mines as they used to, I think a lot of people know the ways around it, but I still get some kills with trip mines now and again. And the reverse can be said, I still die to trip mines a fair amount, even though sometimes I think they're my teammates' trip, trip mines. Which, to be fair, you know, when they do the animation, it's a little bit harsh because you can never tell. But, yep, okay, so the percentile roll on this is at 96%. So this is another good roll. This is the, probably the best thing I've seen so far. Um, so, <clears throat> not bad in terms of Zer this week. A lot better than previous weeks. Next, we have the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. So if you are one of those warlocks who love to throw sticky nades, as is currently with the meta in Crucible, this is the perfect chess piece for you. So this gain an additional fusion grenade charge. This is an intellect discipline roll. Intellect max now at 85, discipline at 76. Uh, this is a 91% roll. So this is not bad for you if you want to use this in the current meta. So feel free to. You know, So obviously it gives you the chance to free up a slot on the warlock path so you don't have to use the the additional um, grenade perk that's on the final tree so you can just switch it out for something else all right weapon of the week hawk moon the year one hand cannon of legend so as you all know what this is this gives you luck in a chamber plus holding aces so essentially that's three bullets that can do damage on top of luck in the chamber okay so you've got city ornaments designs my favorite is this one how does that not look sexy that's a good looking freaking pistol skin right there right that's it for the weapon of the week. All right, next we have weapon bundles. A lot better than last week's, let's be fair. All right, Mida multi tool with the spec op. So, this is the Mida in the jet black. This is the jet black ornament. So, this is the one where Mida has one of the two best ornaments in terms of looks in this game. So, they've got an all black one, which is this one. Then they have an all white one, which I believe is called Arctic. I believe. So, and I have to double check that another time. But <clears throat> that's what it is. Uh, next, we've got the Truth and Heart of Gold. As it is, Truth Rocket, all covered in gold. Next we have the Curuses, Heavy Ammo Sense, your Three of Coins, and your Glass Needles. And last of all, your Material Exchanges. Not a bad week in terms of gear from Zer, so pick them up if you haven't got them, or re-get them if you need to. Um, obviously you haven't got Hawkmoon, pick it up. I know still some people have never got Hawkmoon, so you know here we go. Get it. Uh, it's not bad this week in terms of Zer gear. Alright, also, Guardian Con was this week. So, as some of you do know, Guardian Con was the charity event for Destiny Community Streamers to raise money for St. Jude's, which is a charity in the US for terminally ill children who suffer from cancer and some other things. Um, and obviously, they are funded purely through donations. The goal for this year's <coughs> Guardian Con was to raise $1 million. We broke that goal as a community. Um, we got to $1.2 million, which was a fantastic achievement. Um, I did my little part and donated uh, as much as I could and all you had to do essentially was donate one dollar if you could or donate what you felt like you give. Um, there were some insanely generous donations going out for from the community and um, there were a few that donated like nearly 10 grand in a, in a charity stream block. Um, there was another person I saw in the tail end of Professor Broman's one who I believe donated like 30 grand. That is a lot of money to donate and well, well generous of said person to have done so. You know, it's very kind that someone would do such a thing. 30 grand is essentially someone's one year wage. You know, it's a lot of money to give and to a, and to a worthy cause. 
which is a very nice thing to do. Now, as a community, it shows that we got together and willingly helped out those less fortunate and obviously would never want to see children in that nature. And it's, you know, it's a good thing. Um, it just shows how much we all stick by each other, willing to help each other, willing to help those less fortunate than others. Um, some of you may not know, but prior to this, outside of the YouTube and the Twitch and so forth, I used to work for the NHS and I used to work in the oncology department of hospitals which dealt with cancer. So having seen it in adults is bad enough. I was, I'm not say lucky enough, but I was not in a position where I dealt with children due to the um, department I worked in. So we never saw children come in, but we did see people young people like 21 young um having suffered having cancer and suffering from it so knowing that there's charities out there that willingly help um with this is good especially for children um so as a community we did fantastic so i'd like to say well done for those of you who did donate and for those of you who are going out to garden con this weekend enjoy meet your content creators um have a great weekend with all of them you know the, the money raised them with these guys there was was fantastic so have fun over in tampa at guardian con um rounding it off the destiny beta was in two weeks don't forget july 18th if you have pre-ordered it on your playstation you get it on the 18th xbox get it on the 19th and then obviously open beta is on the 21st pc people will get it on the 24th i believe that was the date 24th of august is their beta date so you know look forward to that it's all exciting um, short video this week, but I hope everyone has a great weekend. I mean, with what we've done this week as a community, how could you not have a great week? So take care, sub, like, favorite, and share the video. Do all the social media things. The Destiny beta will be on the 18th of July. I will be streaming it if I can get all my streaming stuff to work. So if you'd like to come see it, um, I am on twitch.tv forward slash Lancelot Archer. It will be in my end credits, so please feel free to check me out. If you like what you see, drop a follow. It's free. No, no, no real requirements needed. So take care, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.